Hey, what's up guys? It's Yeti here. Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you seven of my favorite add-ons right now in Dragonflight Season 4 and going into The War Within. All of these are minimalistic add-ons that I think have very good quality of life improvements that pretty much every WoW player should get. So the first add-on I want to talk about is called Basic Minimap and it's actually one of the most lightweight add-ons. It just makes the map the minimap look, as you can see right now on the screen, it's insanely lightweight, makes it movable, and, you know, adds a black border of or border of any color. And it's going to be the only map add-on you will ever need. So it is actually based on sexy map. A lot of you probably are using that, but it has just way less clutter, and it's it's more straight to the point. I'm going to show you the option window right here on my, on my screen. So I'm just using a border size of, of 5, black color, moved it one pixel away from there and you, you have all kinds of different texts and buttons you can put on your on your character and and that's it i think it, it's just the best minimap add-on out there i know there are some alternatives like leatrix plus and 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 all all kinds of these but i have always used basic minimap tried other other add-ons and i always came back and I, I really think more people should be using this because it's not a very commonly used add-on even the author of sexy map is is literally the author of basic minimap so try it out all right, so my second add-on in today's video is going to be Better Character Panel. So this is the add-on you can see in display right now here on the screen. So I'm one of my fresh characters and, uh, you know, I'm not using LVUI or anything like that. I'm actually on default UI. And when I open my character panel, you can see these no enchant and you can see item level next to my gear on my character. You can see that I'm missing, uh, you know, sockets on my, on my necklace and things like that. And this is just such a good add-on. It's so useful, especially if you're a new player and you sometimes forget which slots should have enchants. Or, you know, if you're missing, uh, for example, a gem in your socket, etc. It's, it's really lightweight. I saw a lot of world first raiders use it. It's called Better Character Panel. You should try it out if you're not using LVI. This add-on gets updated. As you can see, for example, it says I'm missing a helmet enchant, which is something that I actually dropped in a midrasil. So this add-on is not something out of date. When an expansion is going to have new slots that are enchantable, it's going to let you know. So it's it's really a source you can trust. Maybe it's going to be a week behind, but it's, it's really good. I highly recommend it. All right, so moving on to the next add-on, we have add-on number three, which is called Color Picker Plus. This one is not as straightforward. It basically allows you to pick colors of different fonts and textures inside weak auras or any other add-on. But I'm going to show you in the example of weak auras right here. So, you know, I have this text that, that says what I'm, you know, in stealth right here. And if I click on the text color, I now get an actual, you know, hex code picker. And I think here, for example, I actually picked the color that represents uh, the rogue class or for combo points. I just used one of those to make my UI more matching, you know, all the elements. And I think this is very useful for, you know, pretty much everyone that has a bit of a UI OCD like me to make their UI look better. It works on retail, works on classic, so it supports all versions. I know it's built into LVI, but it's good to have a standalone version as well. So the next add-on on the list is called Dominoes. This is probably my all-time favorite add-on in World of Warcraft. I've used it for a very, very long time. And what Dominoes allows is to have a little bit more customization of some bars outside of the Blizzard edit mode. So usually I use it for moving around my action bars, moving around my extra abilities, but it also allows you to move your roles and alerts window. And for those of you who have been playing uh, Mist of Pandaria Remix, getting those, you know, threads and, 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 and all those pop-ups constantly in the middle of your screen, it's really annoying. But with Domino's, you just move it to the side and it's a lot less annoying. I know there's like specific add-ons and specific ways to remove that, but I think this is just a much better version that fixes it for now and for all the following, you know, versions of the game where you might be getting spammed with some sort of alerts in the game. I've also tried Domino's versus something like Bartender in terms of performance, and I did see an increase using Domino's, so I can really only vouch for this add-on. Okay, so my next add-on on the list is called LS Glass. It used to be called Glass in the past, and it's a very, very good chat add-on that basically just makes the chat a lot more attractive, a lot more smooth makes the chat fade in and out. I'll try to give you an example here on the screen. But what I like the most is this add-on allows you to hide all the social buttons and, and voice chat buttons on your chat, makes it so much more attractive. And again, it's one of those things you install and kind of forget about. I'm a big fan. 
All right, so number six is an add-on called Narcissus. And for me personally, this is, again, one of those super useful add-ons that a lot of people don't know about. If you are playing Pandaria Remix right now, you might know about this add-on because it allows you to have uh, presets for Tinker Gems and stats, allows you to you know, put them on or off using the plus and minus buttons, things like that. I can visit the barber shop and it will have some sort of presets available to me that I saved, right? So right here, I have my Rogue One preset. You know, when I click on this, it, it you know, goes back to my original stats. So if I'm like, you know, messing around with my character, bam, you know, we're back to preset number one. And you can save as many as you want, you know, for different genders, body types, etc. And I think it's a super good add-on. But that's not actually the, the main point of Narcissus. It's also, you know, you have this kind of like nice screenshot-y transmog sharing UI that is like used by a lot of people on Reddit. And I think it's a super nice add-on. So I would, I would really recommend it. it. It is one of those add-ons that has a very good developer who is putting a lot of effort and work into this add-on. It always gets new features and it's, it's really, really good. I can't recommend it enough. All right, and my number seven add-on is going to be saved instances. And what this add-on allows is it allows you to see what daily or weekly lockouts you have completed on each of your characters and allows you to look at your great vault, right? So for example, I'm playing two of my main characters right here. It says Abras, I'm eight out of nine mythic. A Midrasil, I am five out of nine mythic because we were farming that for Farak. While the character I'm gearing right now, you know, has done all of these chores. You can also right click right here to look at your great vault to see what you've done. And again, super useful add on for pretty much anyone who is trying to raid and, and min max and doesn't keep a spreadsheet because, you know, everything is saved right here. You know, I know I haven't done Heroic on Abris, et cetera. You know, super useful add-on. And I know that some people have a very, very massive spreadsheet because they have so many characters. I'm personally playing like two or three, but it's still very, very good. All right, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I am a Twitch, Twitch TV streamer. Twitch.tv forward slash Yeti is where you can find me. Also, I started a Patreon if there are people interested in my specific UI elements and, and all the stuff that I offer, more in-depth help, you know, you can, you can hit me up there as well. And, you know, join my Discord. I'm happy to help even for those who are not able to afford some sort of subscription. So thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you around later.